Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I wanted to talk about a feature in Azure that I just played with today that I found very cool. And I just wanted to make a video to show you guys that feature. And that feature is right here, custom voice. So what this feature allows you to do is record your voice and then it will play back. It will synthesize a voice, AI voice with your voice. Uh, that being said, Let's be fair, you cannot use it. This is a cool feature. You have to be an enterprise uh, customer and you have to register and you have to apply. You have to be accepted in the program, but it's a pretty neat feature and you can always play with it on there. So you could do a, set up a custom voice project. I created a project. You have to have a cognitive speech service already set up in your subscription. Then you select it and you can create a project. Then you go here in this um, voice talent uh, record studio and you basically record some of these phrases that they're telling you to record so here's like this one it looks up and down a lot here and there okay this is a little bit rough because of the recording but you get the idea you speak these they give you feedback like hey this is clear this is good pronunciation good volume and you don't have any mistakes and we're good and you record at least 20 samples to generate your voice up to 50. And then you train your model. Now that takes about an hour, an hour and five minutes, as you can see right here. That's how long it took right here. Training hour. But don't just play with it. I want to show you something. This is how much the training costs. $52 per computer hour. So it's not free and it's not cheap either. I did that so you don't have to. And you shouldn't do it because what I learned is you can't really use this model. Uh, it won't really be useful to you because these are the only things you can say with it. It's the light version, the pro version, which you would get if you were an enterprise customer, is much more advanced and allows you to play whatever text you want. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play that sound and I'm going to read the same thing. And you tell me how well, how good a job it's doing. So let's find this one. So let me read it and then I'll play the neural voice that was generated. Azure Neural Text-to-Speech is a speech service feature that converts text to lifelike speech, part of the Cognitive Services family. It supports more than 120 languages and variants with a rich selection of over 330 pre-built natural voices. And now let me take my microphone off and record this. Azure Neural Text-to-Speech is a speech service feature that converts text to lifelike speech, part of the Cognitive Services family. It supports more than 120 languages and variants with a rich selection of over 330 pre-built natural voices. So isn't that pretty cool? Um, I feel like it sounds like me. I hear that it's a robot. There's some tales, but overall it actually is pretty neat. And the thing that I found very, find very cool is I hate my voice. I hate re hearing my voice. And um, yeah, hearing it through the generated model uh, is a very different experience. Um, so if you want to do more at work, want to use it, if you feel like, hey, there's a use for this, there's a form you can fill out, the registration form right here. And they ask you um, a few questions like, what's your first name, last name, organization, address, what do you want to use it for? Also, if you ever apply, with a hotmail.com, outlook.com, or any personal email address that is not, you know, a business type of thing, uh, they will just automatically be rejected. So don't even bother applying as a person. And then you say what you want to use it for. There's also some use cases that they approve, some use cases that they don't approve. So be sure to read that before you implement it at work. But otherwise, it's a pretty neat feature. It works pretty well. Uh, you only have access to it for 90 days. These um, samples, you can't even download them. It's a little disappointing. It would have been nice if 
at least you could download the samples. Uh, that would have been interesting. But um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty neat. And uh, yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this was informative. And um, yeah, don't do it if you don't have the money to pay for the training because it's going to cost you. I did it so you don't have to.